One sec, one sec. Oh, it's not too bad. Andre, how you doing? How you doing? <coughs> it's it's for paint. It's where I, I, I wash the brushes, Andre. It's paint it's paint water. It's it's the paint water. That's where we put the the brushes when they need to be washed off, you know? Ugh. Welcome on a stupid essay. What's your stupid essay about, Andre? What's it about? What's your stupid essay about? <coughs> Don't put water in the middle of your paint thing. What? Uh, no. I put it in a jug and then I just do it in that. So yeah, we're finally painting uh, the Lehman Rust today. The, the first tank I got. I'm actually, I'm in the process. I am in the process of putting together the Rogal Dawn, which we're going to be painting next week. I'm in the process of putting that fucker together. I'll do a little size comparison for you, right? This cunt is bigger. So I'm, I'm putting that together at the moment, right? Uh, last night, when I picked up all my other bits, I got a Tech Priest, which I painted up as well. He's looking pretty fucking cool. Oh, I'll, I'll put him over here, actually. He'll chill in the background. He'll fit in. He works on tanks. He'll be in the background. It's all fitting and all that. Yeah, so we're painting the Lehman Rust today. Um, honestly, no fucking clue what sort of colour scheme I want to paint it. I need to sort out what paints I'm using. We've got lead voucher. Good old silver. An impact report of COVID-19 on Australia's economy. Um, I don't know anything about that. So good luck. Uh, hey, you're a smart kid, Andre. You got it. You're a smart kid. You got it. <coughs> you're a fucking smart kid. You got it, mate. Let me just uh, sort through my paints real quick. What am I wanna? What, what am I wanna do? Word bearer is red. Absolutely. Might have sorted it now. I'll wipe inside the crate real quick. Hold on, guys. Well, that's a fucking nightmare. One of my paints, the lid just opened up inside the fucking like paint, my box of paints and shit. Well, that's a fucking nightmare. All right. Uh, yeah, we want white. Need some gold. We always need a bit of gold on the tank. Always need a bit of fucking gold on my tank. Is that a black? No. No. There's my caribou crimson. My my wash. I need that. Where's my black paint at? Where's black? Abaddon black, where you hiding? Either? Nah, no, it's blue. Where the fuck is it, man? What the fuck? So it vanished, the dickhead. He's fucking vanished. Where has it gone? Am I being blind? Hang about, we're trying to find paints. There we are, alright. If I don't like it, fucking figure it out from there, mate, you know what I mean? Alright, what brush do I want to use? Oh, let's stuck together. Yeah, it's about a decent sized brush. Ah, uh, this one. Yeah, I'll fucking use this one, mate. I love me drum and bass. You might know this already. I love me drum and bass. Alright. I like how it, the red looks on the silver. I think the red, the red and silver goes well. Red and silver goes well. Yeah, I love my drum and bass, man. We know this, so I'm painting my minis. I'm painting miniatures. We got drum and bass playing. That's how it be. <coughs> oh, fuck. Andre, how many words is your essay? How long's it got to be? Oh, thirteen hundred with ten per with uh, like a ten percent thing. Fair enough. Yeah, I get you. Fair enough, man. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Yeah, I get you. I get you. That's always the worst part. It's when you're trying to, like, research for data and shit. It's always the worst fucking part of it, man. I get you. What is it you study again, Andre? What do you study again? I forgot. What is it you do? Everything is on your mind. Such a good song, man. Banger tune. Banger of a fucking tune. Summer course, music, all oh, right. So what's the essay? Wait. Oh, is this not is this not to do with your music course then? Is this something different? 
So what, what sort of music shit do you do then? If you do music, is it or is it just music theory? Do you just do theory, or is it like are you actually like you know? Do you do, do you actually make music, Andre? Ah, oh, right. Okay, fair enough. I think the red looks alright. I think the red looks alright. I like it. Obviously, it's only the first layer of it, mine. A little bit more red. Mostly music. I didn't. Yeah, fair enough, man. That's it, though. That's cool. That's really cool. Do you enjoy it though? Do you enjoy what you're doing? That's the main thing. Do you enjoy it? These songs bang, dude. I love drum and bass. I love drum and bass. Bangs. Actually bangs. I love this song as well. I love this song. Music history. Talk about Mozart and, my, and shit, man. You're gonna be on the fucking season one of music. Cavemen banging rocks together. Music, bro, music psychology. All right, what the fuck is this now, Andre? You gotta tell me about this now. What's all this about? Music technology, music history, music psychology, music economy. What else are you doing? Fucking music, English, and maths, dude. What the fuck? What else is there you're doing then with music? What else is it, man? Oh, I came on way too strong, actually. Oh, that was bad. That was not good. But I might have put a bit too much paint on that one. So, are you looking to actually end up making music, Andre? Is that what you want to do? Is that what you're looking to do, mate? Gangsters Paradise, drum and bass. What are we on? What are we on? Timeline is this, dude. What fucking timeline? Music, well-being, and health. Is that like dementia and shit? Like how music helps people with dementia. Is that that shit? The fuck is this? Ah, uh, I get you, okay. Yeah, I get you. Oh, yeah, the uh, fucking... The regular scheduled sirens, yeah? <laughs> all the fucking time, man, I tell you. All the fucking time. Alright, so the, the choppy, like, burst of silver that comes through the red is quite nice. It's a bit choppy. You've got, like, the red breaking through the silver. I like it. Alright, so the sides are red now. And I mean, it looks alright. Don't necessarily look bad. I think it looks alright. Chase the Sun is another banger, dude. Goat song. Fucking goat song. <coughs> song is so good. Like I said, I love me drum and bass. What can I say? Drum and bass, good for the soul. Good for the heart. Good for the mind, good for the ears, good for everything. Drum and bass is fucking awesome. Andre, you should become a drum and bass producer, dude. Go make some drum and bass. Alright, it needs more black. Not too much, but it needs a bit more. Welcome back, Andre. I was saying to you, right? Andre, you should make drum and bass. Go produce some drum and bass. Yeah, you're good, man. Yeah, Andre. Go boot up some production software. Start making some drum and bass. You got it, bro. You can do that. All right, let that side dry. Let that bit dry, and we'll do the other side now. Well, now, Andre, drum and bass, bro. Drum and bass. You got it, man. Become the next drum and bass producer. Yeah, we need a bigger brush. Um, um, yeah, this one's alright. This one's good. Painting the gun real quick. Gotta paint it black first, then we do it silver. Alright, we gotta do a little bolter at the front now. Hold on. Get that bolter done. It's a little gun right there at the front, if you can see it. Now, most people will probably tell me, Carrick, why don't you just get an airbrush and prime it faster? Well, I don't have an outdoor bit and I'm not going to go out in public and start spraying paint. Oh, this song bangs. Oh my God, this song is a fucking banger. Oh my God, I love this song. I want to get down with you tonight. 
It's a fucking banger, dude. But yeah, I'm not trying to breathe in the paint either because I ain't got the masks. Because <coughs> basically, I do it indoors and poison myself. Or I do it outdoors, which I won't do, and poison myself. And it. Also, since this obviously goes on YouTube, I want to say I appreciate the support on the painting video I did last time because it went fucking mental. I appreciate it. This song bangs. So good. Such a good fucking song. Self-care, though. I'm thankful that, like, past Carrick primed half of this tank with the fucking, like, silver. Because that saved, that saved me a lot of time. But self-care is important, guys. All right, we'll let all this black dry. We'll let all the black dry now. Oh, wait, no, there's still some little bits I haven't done. Oh, shit. Little bastard at the bottom there, I didn't notice. I can't believe Spunk is falling asleep in the fucking voice chat, dude. <laughs> fucking nerd. That guy is an actual anomaly, dude. Holy shit. All right, let's get some nice little gold on there. Let's get some fucking gold on there. Regalias have got to be golden. That's how it be. That's how it be. I don't make the rules. Well, I do because it's my painting, but I don't make the rules. Fucking lovely. Look at that. Lovely. All right. Uh, Andre, did you ever take a look at the different like 40k factions? Like what there is and stuff. Did you ever take a look? So we got silver now, we got lead belcher. Lead belcher's good silver. Uh, what factions did you look at, Andre? What did you look at? Now I can tell you uh, I can tell you a little bit about them. Chaos Space Marines, Death Guard. So yeah, Thousand Sons. Thousand Sons are a Chaos Space Marine group. They're pretty cool actually, the Thousand Sons are pretty cool. They're the uh, very Egyptian looking ones. A very Egyptian looking ones, they're cool. Astra Militarum, yeah, of course. I love the Guardsmen. Uh, the big two right now are the space, are the normal Space Marines, obviously. They're poster boys. And the Tyranids, which are like the <coughs> alien bugs. <coughs> Death Guard are pretty cool. Uh, they're under Nurgle, which is the Chaos God of like rot, pestilence, disease, stuff like that. They're pretty fucking cool. Very Spunk type, you know? Spunk type. There's the Eldar, which are space elves. Drukari, which are evil space elves. There's the Leagues of Otan, which are just, uh, you know, Deep Rock? You know Deep Rock? Yeah, so they're just space, they're just space dwarves. If you know Deep Rock Galactive. That's the Leagues of Otan. There's the Tau, that just want peace between everyone. But they're very racist. <laughs> or some shit like that. The silver applies so well once it's been painted black. The silver applies so fucking well, I love it. Bro, so I'm gonna turn on the circuit. Turn on the market, boy. I love this music, man. Drum and bass makes me happy. What can I say? Spunk, how you doing? I was just speaking about you, actually. How you doing? Do you have a nice little sleeping voice call? <laughs> Spunk, you fell asleep in a voice chat. Yeah, you were in VC for hours, Spunk. I would have disconnected you, but it was too funny. It, it was really funny. Which is why I didn't disconnect you. Because it was just funny to see that you were fooling asleep in there, you know? Vino Bandit is a banger song, dude. Holy shit. Anyway, how you feeling, Spunk? You okay, dude? You good? This song is great. Leave me alone. Such a good song. Hey, Spunk. It's a good day today because we've got two streams. Two streams, Spunk. We've got two of them. <coughs> Alright, back to the red now. Back to the red. I don't want it to be completely red. I, I want to have the silver poking out, you know? I don't like my models looking too clean. Back off. Hey, yeah, see a bit, Spunk. That's cool, man. Take care. Yeah, I don't like my models looking too clean, you know what I mean? I like them to look a bit rough around, you know? That's why I love these brushes, because they split a little bit. So it looks like the paint is chipped off, basically, all right? That's what it looks like, yeah? It looks like the paint's kind of chipped off. And I like that. Yeah, I'm liking this tank so far how I painted it. 
Because like parts of it, obviously the silver is still shitting through in it. So shitting through, nice. So shining through. So it's like, yeah, again, it's kind of got the effect I want where it's like the, you know, the paint's chipped out. From like damage or whatever you want to call it, you know? And do this bit solid, which I like as well. Yeah, awesome. I like how it's looking. Because again, you know, it's got the effect that I really wanted it to have, which is the fucking silver chipping through the red. It's got that, and I'm really happy with it. I'm going to paint this little uh, regalia here now. And then this little skull right here. Nice. Shall I make the barrel gold? Golden barrel, maybe? Yeah, I'll do a golden barrel. And then the little light on top needs to be done in gold at the front. Nice. Lovely, yeah. Sick, awesome, right. I might do the gun tips gold, actually, as well. Hold on. I like using the gold. If you couldn't tell, I really like gold for these paints. Alright, cool. No more gold. That's enough gold. Actually, no, that's not enough gold. More gold. We need more gold. There we go. Now it's enough gold. Now I'm satisfied. Finished dresso? Nice. Oh, good process. Good progress. Good. Nice, nice, nice. <coughs> oh, this song. This song. Oh my god goodness this fucking song bangs all right boys it's time to wash it's time for the wash we got that funny old Karaberg crimson the red wash so wash is just basically water that's been colored but what it does is it gets in all the little recesses and details and it kind of, it, it brings out the detail, you know? That's why it's fucking magical. This cunt is fucking magical, I'm telling you. In this household, we love the usage of washers. Because they are fucking magic. But this brush is shit. I'm going to get a different brush, because this one's shit. This brush is actually dog shit. Oh yeah, my headphones are in view. <laughs> They're not the way. I don't want to get any paint on my headphones. And it goes like this. Yeah, brother. All right. And I love it. It's fucking, it's, it's just cool. And now that we've done it with that, we are going to go over it again with another, another wash. That wash is Agrax Earthshade. Now you might be thinking, Carrick, why are you washing it again? Well, the red goes with the red, but it's obviously there's still silver and gold on there we've got to run through. <coughs> and now, Caraber Crimson, it complements the red, kind of darkens it a bit, but Agrax Earthshade, it gives it, it's, it's brown, it gives it a dirty look, you know? And I like, I like when models are looking a bit dirty. You know what I mean? I like it when they look a bit dirty and shit. So we're going to put some of this bitch on there. And we're going to have fun doing it. I bet this shit is tasty too. I bet you this shit's tasty. I'm not going to be the one to fucking try it. I'm kidding by the way guys. Do not drink the paint wash. Don't drink it guys. Not even known oil. Don't drink it guys. It's not worth it. But yeah, it just brings, it brings out the fucking details so well. Especially Agrax Earthshade. The, the red one is made to complement red. But Agrax Earthshade, it brings out red so well. Not red, it brings out details so well. There's a lot of shit going on, what the fuck? A lot of police cars out there today. I think we're actually, we're almost done. I'm gonna do a little bit of detailing. I'm gonna write some on the thing in white paint. But besides that, yeah, we're almost done now actually, isn't it? Coming in under an hour. Well, just after an hour, just over I think it'll be. And we'll do some little flavor text on the sides. 
And actually, there is something I want to try that I've never tried before, so you're going to have to bear with me for a minute, too. Alright, sick. That's the washing done, which means... For the most part, the model's done. There's a few bits I want to try, though. <coughs> whilst we're here, guys, by the way, by the way, guys, whilst we're here... Glitch Energy. 10% off if you use code GLITCHFARMX10, yeah? You'd love that shit. Glitch Farm X10. Glitch Farm X10. Get yourself 10% off any of your fucking orders. They got some banging flavors on there. I'm not gonna lie. My personal favorite, Smurf Juice. It's that blue one. So good. Alright, I wanna go on um, YouTube real quick. How to use transfer sheets 40k. How to apply transfers. Okay, I want to see how to do this. We're going to watch a four-minute YouTube video together, guys. We're going to watch a four-minute YouTube video. Because the water will give you that. I want to show you in this video how you can apply fantastic-looking transfers. Yeah. No, I ruined it. No. I ruined it. No, I killed it. No, it's stuck to my hand. It's over. No, okay, I can't do this. I was gonna try and use these like transfer. It's like it's this really weird sticker thing, right? But no, I can't do it. <laughs> I tried. I did try, but I can't do it. We'll just paint the paint my details on. We'll just manually paint our details. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. He's got we've got some white here. We got a six on there. Looks like yeah. No, this looks like a dick. This looks like a fucking cock and balls, bro. Fuck's sake. Yeah, this white is too thick to write with. I can't use it. Don't mix with the white, you dickhead. Don't mix. Don't mix. The other solution is the Corax white, which normally doesn't go too well. Because it's quite shit. So we'll have to see how it goes. It's not it's not terrible, I guess. I wish I had like a white pen. I'd just write. I'd just write on it. I'm like an ultimate white fucking solution here. Hold on. And then just to complement it even more, we'll use we'll use a white brush that I've never actually used before. We're doing a small camo recess is what we're doing. Alright, cool. I reckon then. Well I'm gonna do one more wash layer. And then we're done. So yeah, we're gonna do one more layer of washing with uh, Agrax Earthshade just all over. And then, lads, we're done. <coughs> Mark that. An hour, under an hour and ten minutes. Might have overshot the wash, hold on. Yeah, with that, I'd call it done. Honestly, I'd call it done. I'd say we're done. Because uh, I've got the effect I want, which is the silver ripping through the red paint. It's like a little chip through a bit. So yeah, I'd, I'd say we're about done. I'd say we're all about done. Welcome back, Spunk. We're about done now. Just gonna get some more tissue real quick and clean up a little bit. Thank you, Spunk. I appreciate it. Thank you, Andre. Yeah, obviously. So last night when I got back from the shop that I got all my stuff from, I painted up the uh, tech priest. So this guy is pretty cool. He's got a pistol, uh, where is it? It's there on his like torso. He's got his big like fucking axe and this thing here too. This is something he uses for extra attacks. So he's pretty cool to play. But the main reason I wanted him is because he can repair tanks. So we got that, he can repair tanks. So that's fucking great, right? That's fucking sick, we love that. 
Obviously, we've got this beam, beam blade. The fuck? We've got lemon rust I've just painted up. So I'm happy with that. I think, yeah, I like it. I like the red scheme. I think it looks good. I need to I need to leave it to dry for now. It does need to dry. It needs to dry. And then what I'm working on as well, I'm assembling it so it's ready to paint for next week, is the Rogel Dawn, which is another tank that's bigger. It doesn't have a piece in the bottom, which really annoys me. There's nothing that goes here. Yeah, so it's another tank, the Rogel Dawn. It's bigger than the Lehman Russ. Uh, size comparison, I guess. <laughs> it's much bigger. It's like double the size. <coughs> now I'm working on assembling that. And then obviously, as you probably saw in my Discord server, or if not, then it was on my Instagram page. If you're not following, IG Karak X10. I don't want to like show off too much, that's the problem here, but um... The Baneblade box. It's very big. I haven't even unboxed it yet. I'm saving that for when we do the stream. I'm saving the unboxing for when we put it together, for when we do the assembly. But it's a big box. It's kind of heavy as well. Yeah. So I'm gonna put these paints away now. Put these little paints away. Uh, pack up. Yeah, so obviously, next week, Wednesday, we'll be painting the Rogel Dawn. Um, what I'm thinking is, not next week, but the week after, I'm going to go live for a couple hours every day to work on the Bane Blade, assembly and painting. And then we also have a few other things to do. Uh, later today, I'm streaming uh, Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader, the game. It's a R it's RTS. It's a role playing game. Uh, it's like Baldur's Gate, I guess, kind of. <coughs> Fuck. It's like Baldur's Gate in the role play sense, but it's kind of like XCOM, I guess. If you know XCOM, it's similar to that. Yeah, that's that. Um, anything else? Well, yeah, it's just that. So uh, we got the Rogel Dawn for next week. And the Bane Blade for the week after, which hopefully we'll have done the week after as well, but I'm not sure how long that's going to take. Truth be told, I am kind of intimidated by these tank models because they're so cool that I don't want to mess them up. Because if they look shit, it's going to make me sad because they're not cheap. Especially when it's been gifted to me by someone. They're not cheap. So I'm really trying my hardest to not make them look shit, you know what I mean? Because they, they are really fucking cool. They are really fucking cool. You've, um, I've got a lot of extra like, spare bits too. A lot of spare bits. So that's going to be really fun. We've got a lot of little spare pieces and shit. Who knows, I might make some like terrain pieces, like turrets and stuff. Just to play with. Um, I just have on the boards and shit, that'd be fun. But yeah, uh, this is a fun stream. I'm going to go chill out for a bit and then make some dinner. And then we'll be live again in the evening for some Rogue Trader. So yeah, uh, thank you for coming out. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I guess I hope you enjoyed. Um, see you in a bit.